Welcome back. I'm Casey Campbell with Great Lakes Post, and we're, let, we're doing another one of these interviews again, I'm catching up with high school football players across the state of Michigan. And we're now joined by Northville's Caden Saunders. And if you haven't heard, Northville got a big win against Brighton on Friday night. Um, Caden, how are you, bud? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. No problem. Um, a lot of people did not expect uh, you guys to go out and beat Brighton, um, just being honest. Um, but how did you do it? It's just the energy was different this year, especially this week. We had a, a really good week of practice. Starting on Monday, we were just like, we need to fix this. And we came at it hard every single day this week. And we're just, this is a big game for us. We're like, we need to win this week. And we work hard all week. And we lead up to the game going on Friday. And everybody's feeling good. The energy's going great. And we just go out there and we compete. And things started going our way. We made a few mistakes here and there. But we kept going. We kept competing. And that's something that was better from what we did last year. Because a lot of the time, when they came back, for example, when they came back and tied it just now at the beginning of the second half, and it was 7-7, that could have changed the whole momentum of the game. But instead, we kept competing, and then we, we sealed the win at the end. Yep. Yeah, um, of course, uh, this, is a, this is a different season because of, you know, the, with only the six games. But, right. you know, the, it, what was, what's been the biggest difference with this team this year? Biggest difference, I would say, is just, like, not only the chemistry, but just, like, how much the guys are wanting to buy in. We have so many leaders on this team this year who are trying to lead their teammates and step up and work even harder than they ever had before. That really played into a huge part of it. Yeah, um, of course, you had a uh, – you ran it in for a touchdown. Um, uh, just – just I, I know I know Brighton lost a lot, but beating a team like that that went to the state finals last year, how how much confidence does that give you going into the going into next week's game against Salem? It gives us a lot of definitely a lot of confidence because we realize that like hey we come out we compete we work hard as long as we outwork the team we should be all right. But even saying that, no game this year is going to be an easy game. So we're going to have to go into that go into every week this year with that mindset of hey we still have to have a good week of practice we still have to prepare we still have to work hard leading up to the game. How different has it been this year? Definitely a lot different with all the rules and everything, how we don't have a student section anymore and each player is only allowed two spectators. So it's definitely a whole different feel before every game because we don't have that feeling of running out into the locker room and then running in front of the student section and getting hyped up and everything. So it's definitely a different feeling, but I feel like it provides us, I wouldn't say with less of a distraction, but without paying attention to the stands or who's watching, we can really just focus on us and the team and competing out there. They're also not taking, uh, also not taking team buses to the game as well. Of course, uh, your parents are driving you, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken on that. How different has that been? It's definitely different because before we would always just try to get ready for the game together. Sometimes like the bus rides to the game, we're not, we're we'll always be doing our separate pregame routines and everything. Everybody's listening to music, doing it to do get ready. But games the bus rides home from the games were probably the most fun thing that we could have like after a game because we're all especially if we win we're all excited we're all like jumping up and down listening to music like we're it's like it's all hyped hyped up and it's different this year not having that yeah um this division's you know i've said that anybody it's anyone's up it's it's anyone's um you know I think that a lot of people notice what you did. What, what's the biggest uh, – who is some? who are some players that we do not know on this team? Uh, we know you and, of course, Brett Rankin, another one. But who are some other guys that we're not talking about right now on the Mustangs? Uh, I might, I'm not saying I'm biased, but my little brother actually said a heck of a t first two weeks. He had two touchdowns last week against Canton. And then on Friday, I had a long run that was for about 75 yards, and he ended it with a touchdown, too. Oh, nice. He's actually been one of our top receivers so far this season. Yeah. Um, and, of course, coming in and going into this weekend's game against Salem, uh, you know, and I know you mentioned this before, but going in there with a win has got to be really, really good heading into this week of practice. Definitely. Like, we're all just ready to get back out there to practice tomorrow and just get back at it. All right, Caden Saunders, thank you so much, man. Congrats on the win last week, and good luck this weekend against Salem.
Anytime. Thank you for having me.